In this video, we are going to be looking at reactions that involve gases. And we're going to start out with some simple types of problems. And what I mean by simple is that we're going to be given the volume of a specific gas in a chemical reaction. And we're going to need to find information about the volume of another type of gas. Now, in this type of problem, we are also going to assume that the conditions do not change. So the, the process is really simple. All we need to do is multiply by the coefficient of gas B over the coefficient of gas A. Now when we have a reaction that takes place and we're comparing the volumes of two different gases, we need to make sure that the conditions stay the same. So at STP, um, it'll work for both gases or any other temperature or pressure as long as the conditions are staying the same. So let's take a look at a sample problem. If water decomposes at STP and 4.8 liters of oxygen are produced, how many liters of hydrogen will also be produced? So the first thing we need to do is look at what we're given. We're given 4.8 liters of oxygen, so the volume of a gas. How many liters of hydrogen will be produced? Well, we're looking at trying to find the liters of hydrogen. Hydrogen also is a gas. So we're going from the volume of one gas to the volume of another gas, and the conditions are not changing. So let's write out the balanced equation. We have water that's decomposing, so H2O, and it decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen, so H2 and O2. Now we need to balance this equation. So if we have um, two water molecules, they will break down into two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule. I'm putting the one in that balanced equation just to help us look at the ratios a little bit easier. So I'm also going to label the gas, the, the gas uh, in which the information is given to me. So I'm given information about the liters of oxygen or the oxygen gas and I want to find out information about the hydrogen. So Oxygen is my gas A, and hydrogen is my gas B. So I'm given 4.8 liters of oxygen to work with. All I need to do is multiply by the coefficient of B over the coefficient of A. So 4.8 liters of oxygen. All right, so every one uh, liter of oxygen that's produced will also create two liters of hydrogen because the ratio is two to one. Two liters of hydrogen for every one liter of oxygen. So if the ratio is two to one uh, for liters of hydrogen to liters of oxygen, then 4.8 liters of oxy oxygen will create double the amount of hydrogen. So I'm gonna take 4.8 times two or two over one to get the amount, the volume of hydrogen that's produced. So 9.6 liters of hydrogen will be produced in this reaction if I also create 4.8 liters of oxygen. So as you can see, these are simple types of problems in which you're just comparing two volumes of a gas in a chemical reaction if the conditions do not change. Now here we have a reaction, a combustion reaction of methane. How many liters of carbon dioxide are produced if 13.5 liters of steam are also created? So we have two volumes of gases that we're looking at. This doesn't take place at STP, but it doesn't say anything about the conditions between the two, vol uh, between the two gases uh, being different. So we're going to assume they're the same, and then we can do this simple uh, coefficient type problem. So let's first write out our equation. Methane is CH4. It combusts. So in the presence of oxygen, we add oxygen to the reactant side. Then we have carbon dioxide and water as our products. So I want to balance this equation here. Um, if I start with one molecule of CH4, I know I'm going to need two molecules of water to balance out the hydrogens. And then I also need to put a two in front of the oxygen. I'm gonna fill those placeholders as ones to keep our um, ratios easy to detect. Now, I'm gonna also label the information or the chemical in which the information is given. So I am given information about water. I know that I have 13.5 liters of water, and this is steam. This is water in the form of a gas. So I'm really, 13.5 uh, liters of water would be a little bit different volume if it were in liquid form. So it has to be noted that this is in gas form. This is steam, not, not liquid water. So I start out with 
w the information that I'm given. 13.5 liters of steam or H2O in gas form and I'm going to multiply by the coefficient of B over the coefficient of A. So I'm going to cancel out liters of H2O, so I put that on the bottom. Two liters of water, or H2O um, steam, are produced for every one liter of carbon dioxide. So this is a one to two ratio, and pretty, so pretty much half of the amount of carbon dioxide, the volume of carbon dioxide, will be created as water, as steam. So I take 13.5 divided by 2, and I get 6.75. And I can keep three significant digits there because I have three significant digits in the number that I'm given, 13.5. So my answer is 6.75 liters of carbon dioxide. So if 13.5 liters of steam are created, 6.75 liters of carbon dioxide will also be created in this reaction.